This video is brought to you by Squarespace. That's right, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business in one breath. Oof. And welcome to part one of a two-part series where I'm going to be designing characters or rather a group of friends based off of the 12 months of the year. Does January set too many resolutions? And is June as hot as the days are? hot because it's summer. Okay, let's just get to designing characters. And obviously we have to start off with the first month of the year, January. When you think January, what do you think? You think resolutions, a fresh start, setting goals, working hard towards those goals. So I wanted to design a character that was really trying their best for a new year, a new them. So when it came to choosing how I approach these character designs, I obviously wanted to take inspiration from the months and what makes the months the months. So obviously January, we have, like I said, a fresh start. People are making a lot of New Year's resolutions. They want to make a better them. They want to maybe lose weight, exercise. Obviously there are way more resolutions to a new year than health but I just felt like that was going to be the easiest one to portray in a visual sense. I normally focus on art related New Year's resolutions, but this fella is going towards the healthy route. That being said, because I did choose the fitness route to represent this character, I am definitely 100% a body positivity person. So skinny, chubby, overweight, underweight, whatever, you do you. I'm not here to judge your body. It was just the most stereotypical resolution and most easiest one to represent in this character. Okay, let's move on. They're feeling motivated. They're enthusiastic, optimistic, looking to the future. But let's be honest, most of those resolutions that people make end up falling through within the first couple of weeks. And next thing you know, you are back to your old self. So going into the character for January, I wanted to design a character that was very motivated. They set goals, but they always ended up falling through. So as a person, January is someone that says they'll do a lot of things. Maybe they'll volunteer to help you out with a big project. You're moving next weekend. Oh, January says they'll come help you move a few boxes, but come the day of, January suddenly got sick and they're nowhere to be found. So overall, January is very good for boosting other people's confidence. He's very good at motivating others, but when it comes to motivation towards himself, he has lots of good ideas. He, he can start a project, but he never has enough motivation to finish it. So here we have January in his sweats, really hitting the gym hard. He's got some posters in the background to motivate himself. He's really trying his best. And that is why the friend group really likes to have January around. Maybe he's not the most dependable person, but he's a very motivational person. He'll definitely believe in you, just not himself. And he's fun to be around. Just, just don't depend on him for anything major. We have February and everybody knows in February is Valentine's Day. So I wanted to create a character that was full of self-love. He loves everybody from friends to strangers. He's the most positive vibes only person you will ever meet. Seriously, I don't think this character could probably say one mean thing to anybody. If you need criticism, he always wraps it up in the best positive sandwich he can. In fact, maybe don't go to February if you want some honest, truthful criticism because he cannot say anything negative. Always happy, in touch with his feminine side, and of course his love language is definitely gift giving. Again, because February is all about Valentine's Day, he loves to show his affection by giving gifts to people, whether it be his friends, his family, his significant other. Because he is so positive, he's also the most popular friend in the group. Growing up in high school, he was voted class president because President's Day, get it? President's Day is in, in February for those of you that aren't American. He also loves useless facts, like he knows every single president's birthday. Again, just, just really trying to wrap the holidays into these characters. Heck, and why not? Let's throw in another silly little tie-in to President's Day. His goal in life is to become a president one day. I don't know why I said a president. I meant to say the president of the United States, but heck, maybe he wants to own a company one day. I, I don't know his life. Maybe I should, I designed him. 
Because he is so positive and always trying to help others, he has a bad tendency to break promises and not intentionally. Because he is February, he does come right after January, which is where everyone's starting to fall out of their New Year's resolutions, which means breaking their resolution, which also means huh, breaking girls' hearts because everybody falls for him because he's just so good looking. Cannot relate. He's always trying to help everybody out. He always has his hands full trying to do the right thing, but as a result of doing too many things at once, he ends up forgetting things. He can be a little scatterbrained. So he's really good to depend on normally unless you catch him at a really bad time when he's just so full of promises that he can't keep up with them. But he's doing it out of the goodness of his heart. And even though all of his friends are telling him that he needs to take a break and be single and take time for himself, he always has a new girlfriend. Moving on to March, obviously the biggest holiday in March that I could think of is St. Patrick's Day. So alcohol, this character is, is based off of partying and, and alcohol. But she's not all bad. I also took inspiration from the color of this month, which is green because again, St. Patrick's Day. So this character, she's a very go green sort of character. She eats very clean. She's a vegan. She's an environmentalist. She recycles everything, reusable bags. She's constantly volunteering her time to work on projects to better the world, help other people out. And overall, she's just a very good willed type of person. That said, on the weekends, if you can't tell by her character design, I did, like I said, want to really focus her design on St. Patrick's Day, even though she does have that very much go green attitude during the weekday. On the weekend, she spends her fortune, which she got from her parents, it's an inheritance, to just really go for it. She really lives up her life. So if you were to see her on a Monday, you would think, oh, it's, it's March. Look at her carrying a big box of recycling over to the donation building and helping people out. Every time she passes someone in need on the streets, she throws a few bucks at them. Any stray animal she finds, she will spend all day trying to find the owner. But if you run into her in the club on a Friday night, Saturday night, maybe even a Sunday night, she will be at the fanciest club drinking the most expensive, fanciest drinks. In fact, she probably bought an entire round of drinks for the entire club because again, she has a very large sum of money. I tried to really play off the whole leprechaun thing and a pile of gold at the end of a rainbow. So basically her parents' inheritance. So she found the money, she didn't actually earn it, but she's not like snobby about it. Basically, she's the rich friend. And basically she is the part party animal out of the group of friends. She's that one friend that's always trying to drag you to a bar or a club. She's always got a spring in her step, very excited, very happy and bubbly because you know, spring, get it? Spring in her step. There are a lot of really bad puns in this video and I'm so, so sorry. Do I need to explain why she has red hair and green clothes? Obviously it's an Irish thing. Hopefully she didn't turn out too stereotypically St. Patrick's Day-ish. But there she is, our party animal March character. April showers brings May flowers was one of the things I was thinking about when designing this character. The big one obviously is going to be April 1st, which is April Fool's Day. So going into this character design, I definitely wanted to focus on her being the sort of class clown or at least the funny friend of the group. She's always cracking jokes. You can always depend on her to lighten the mood if something's sad or if there's drama in the group. April is always there to try to bring up the spirits. That being said, April showers was also another aspect of her personality that I really wanted to bring into this character, but I think it ended up getting just a little too real. So I ended up just focusing on the April 1st aspect. Basically, I wanted her to be a very extreme emotions type of person. She laughed really easily. She was very happy and bubbly very easily, but also she cried really easily and you kind of never knew which side of her you were going to get. 
sure this character was very silly. She was always cracking jokes. She was a comedian, she's funny, but I wanted to incorporate the April showers. So I thought tears are like rain, you know, they, they shower down, they're wet, they're, they're water. So I thought maybe she's actually very sad and she cries a lot and she's masking her sadness with jokes and avoiding her real life issues. And I thought, well, I need to avoid this real life issue because this got really real way too fast and it's too real. It's too real. So in the end, I decided to cut out her whole being funny and silly to cover up her sadness part. And I just decided to focus on her being an April Fool's joke character. Though just because I got rid of the whole masking her sadness aspect of her personality, she still has very extreme emotions when it comes to being passionate about something. So maybe she's not sad, but she either gets very angry in a passionate way, like Earth Day. Earth Day is in April, so she feels very passionate as well with March about taking care of the world. Her and March are all always doing bake sales to raise money for animals, recycling, pitching in to plant things. It sounds like I don't know what earth activities are. I'm just talking. Either way, April was a really fun character to design. She's jumping up in the air. I wanted to make sure she had a lot of energy to her. She dresses with bright colors and patterns and she's just, she's the quirky friend of the group. That's April. Again, April showers brings May flowers. So obviously my focus with our character for May was going to be gardening, nature, going outside, you know, all of that earthy, plant-based, growing natural stuff. She has a huge garden in her backyard. She's always gardening, growing things, talking about plants, trying to give her plant babies away because she just doesn't have room for them in her house or in her garden anymore. She loves to get dirty. She's not afraid to get dirty. Obviously she's very close with March and April because they do a lot of activities together towards the earth, whether it be recycling, volunteering their time for better causes. Basically those three are very close because they share a lot of similar activities, probably because they're all very spring based people. May is also Mother's Day so she is a little bit older in the friend group and already has a few kids you could say. She loves to cook using ingredients she grew from her garden and overall she's kind of the mother group when it comes to this group of friends so anybody can depend on her for advice, life advice, children advice, plant advice. She's very knowledgeable, she gives great hugs, and just basically she has this energy about her that just makes anybody feel safe. If anyone has a problem, she is there to listen to them, hug them, give them cookies. She loves to explore different kinds of food because Cinco de Mayo is in May, so she loves international cuisine. I'm creative. <laughs> When it came to this character design, I actually really enjoyed the tan lines. As you guys have heard me talk about in every video where I draw tan lines, it's just so much fun to create that lineless look where someone has gotten a tan and they're much more pale where maybe long sleeve clothes used to be. I just love the way that looks. I don't know why. That being said, because there was that different color of a tan line, I found it kind of hard to shade some parts of her skin, which honestly, I don't mind because I do like a less rendered, very simple illustration style. So honestly, didn't mind it. Just means there's less shading on this character. But overall, I had so much fun with her, making her all dirty, the plants going around her. She just seems like a really fun, outdoorsy, motherly, down to earth kind of character. Ha, get it? Down to earth. Cause like she's literally standing in the earth. So it's, it's like a funny joke. Anyways, there she is. And our sixth and final month for part one is June. And the only thing I can really think about for June is Father's Day. So we just had a motherly character and now we've got a fatherly character. Though this character isn't known as the father of the group, it's not like he's 
the father figure of the group. He's not going around fixing people's houses and stuff. I promise I do not support stereotypes. I'm just using them as a way to exaggerate? I don't know. But basically I wanted to create a character that maybe had a baby at a very young age. So in high school he got a girl pregnant. But you know what? He's a dad type. He wanted to stick with this girl even in high school and he was gonna be a father no matter what it took. So we have quite a young kid, the youngest in the friend group. He's an early father, a young father, and he's really leaning into that. So dad jokes, puns, just anything that makes the friend group groan is definitely what June is all about. June is also a stay-at-home dad, so the mom is out working hard, doing whatever it is she does, and June, the stay-at-home dad, has really embraced being the best father that he can be. So to embrace that, I drew June playing dress up with his daughter, wearing a tutu. He's got two different socks on because he was just so busy. He, he, he grabbed the wrong sock. What a, what a goofy dad. He's got stains on his shirt from running around, spilling things, taking care of the kid. To be honest, I really wasn't sure how to represent that this guy was a dad other than make him look sloppy, full of stains, yet dressing up like a ballerina with a five-year-old. He's silly, he's young, but he's also developing that dad bod, so he's getting a bit of a tummy. He's letting himself go. He hasn't shaved in a couple of days, so he's got a sad little mustache coming in, but also he's still very young so he doesn't have a nice stubbly beard. As far as his role goes for the friend group, he's definitely someone that needs a lot of help from his friends because he is a young dad. He needs a babysitter sometimes so if you're his friend you're probably gonna have to babysit his kids sometimes. But also he's a young dad. He's a very dependable guy. He definitely sees through anything he does. He doesn't give up so you know you can go to him with any favor as long as he can find a babysitter. Har 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 hilarious jokes. And that's June. And that is it for part one of our characters based off of months of the year. If you're curious about July through December, you're just gonna have to stay tuned maybe even subscribe. And hey, while you wait for my next video, why don't you make that online portfolio you've been putting off? With Squarespace's customizable designs and professional portfolios, it's so simple. I don't know why you've been putting it off so long. Easy importing is as simple as pulling photos off of Twitter and Instagram. So what's your excuse? Bad with technology? Well, 24 seven email support has your back. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you actually really good with technology? Well, don't worry. You can customize your own code, customize redirects, Customize your CSS. I don't even know what half these things are. Go on, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Casey Golden to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching. Stay golden. Bye.